Wow, this update is so good, dude. Look at this, Ritual Miracles. On the, the third difficulty of the course, we have three ability mons. You just need to beat like, yeah, 16 difficulty of each of them, which might be a little bit of a stretch for some of you guys, but it is definitely, definitely a little bit easier to attain K16, F16, A16. And if you are able to do so, that is three legendary ability mons for free. I know some of you guys are going to say that they should have already made it a little bit more uh, available, which I kind of agree as well. But hey, after fully skilling up my Intisa, I currently still have 13 legendary ability mods. What the heck? Okay, but anyway, for today's video, right, I just want to give you guys an idea of how good the bounties are. So a lot of you guys said that this is a nerf because we had 1,400 to like 1,700 Nexus crystals per week if you were trying to aim for some of the epic bounties that gave you nexus crystals right which i fully understand right so 1400 1700 as opposed to what we discovered or what we talked about in the past which this is actually our weekly bonus being 1050 which is less than 1400 and definitely less than 1700 but that is not true in the slightest bit and let me explain why this is okay so let me just refresh this a little bit and uh okay we didn't get what i wanted to showcase but let's do a few refreshes Oh my god, this is so terrible for my showcase. What the hell? Okay, wait. Hold on. Yesterday was a lot better for me. I mean, I, I feel like the rates were completely screwed against me today. But this is what I wanted to, to show you guys. So the thing is, if you complete this to its entirety, so that means you have 80 plus 24 uh, stamina plus memo chips, this is actually very valuable. And let's say if you put aside the memo chips for a second, right? So let's just focus on the 104 stamina that we get from this. We have 21 bounty tickets every single week. 21, right? Which means that if we get 21 of these 104 stamina bounties, that is actually going to amount to 2,184 stamina. And going by the rate of the current stamina, which is 90 stamina for 100 Nexus Crystal worth, then 2,184 divided by 9 times 10, it's actually 2,427 Nexus Crystals worth of stamina. Which means that you need to add the weekly 1,050 Nexus Crystals uh, worth of rewards here. On top of that, we still have the 2,427 Nexus Crystals worth in stamina. And we have even taken into consideration the memo chips as well. Which gives us a grand total of 3,477 Nexus Crystals per week worth of rewards. 3,477, think about that. Oh my god, what happened? Sorry, somehow my lights just died. But yeah, think about that for a second, right? That is a lot, a lot of Nexus Crystals worth. So a lot of you guys are saying that, oh, 1,700 Nexus Crystals, this is a huge nerf. I fully disagree. I fully disagree. Well, at least coming from a player like me who tends to refresh a lot, this matters a lot to me. So I mean, like, uh, I tend to refill a lot, right? Just full refills every single day. So let's take a look at how easy it is to completely consume all our stamina in one single day. So we're just going to do this, right? So let's say, you know, I start off my day and I want to go and make coffee. So I have to come back in five minutes time just to claim this. But, you know, on the meantime, let's just do some runs as well, right? So let's just use our memo chips to clear out our stamina. So I currently still am sitting on 148 memo chips and I have somehow had 301 extra memo chips, which I think I got it from, I don't know where, I, maybe part of the bounties as well. So I'm actually still sitting on a lot of excess uh, memo chips right now. So let's say we go to the trials and yeah, take note that I haven't even claimed any of my daily mission rewards, my daily quest rewards as well. So go to the um, Ritual Miracles here. And let's just wrap out a bunch of uh, runs. So let's blitz this. So one thing that I have to uh, have to like talk about for that particular bounty I'm talking about, right? So 104 stamina and 104 memo chips. That is actually extremely good value because as you can see here, the rate that I'm consuming stamina as to memo chips is pretty damn good. So. I'm consuming about 2 stamina to 1 memo chip. Well, it's a rough gauge, right? Which means that the 104 memo chips that that bounty actually gives us is not just useful for the 104 stamina that it's going to provide, it is also very useful for the rest of the stamina that you have yet to use, like your daily energy regeneration, your, your stamina refills, all that kind of stuff. So let's continue blitzing. And oh my god, we are, we are just like blowing through our daily stamina right now. So freaking fast. So I spent in total 160 memo chips, but do take note that if we take three of the epic bounties, right, we will have a total of 312 memo chips, which means that we are about halfway there.
And that's another 80 consumed. So I guess the last 10 here would slightly eat a little bit into our total memo chip amount that we should have gotten from the bounties, right? But don't forget that we still have our daily quest reward, bounty, uh, memo chip rewards, which is 210. So we are also going to take into consideration the extra 210 uh, for a total of 522, 522, I think. So right now we have spent 320, which means that on a daily basis, we still have another 200 more uh, memo chips left in our, in our tank. So let's continue the process. Wow, we literally used up all our daily stamina refills and we still have another 122 more extra memo chips. Extra memo chips, it's just there, it's just for us to use. Which means that on top of your daily stamina refills, all the rest of your regeneration and all that, I think the extra memo chips is definitely going to do its part uh, for whatever content that you still want to clear or maybe if you are buying more stamina refills like stamina packs and all that, that makes a lot of sense. So holy shit, right now, in terms of like, like just pure gameplay, my daily grind from like spending four to six hours of just farming Fafnir every single day, it is now reduced to just five minutes. It's insane. It is so unthinkable. And the thing is, okay, some of you guys might be saying that, oh, but I need to wait for the bounties to complete in order for me to claim it. Uh, that is true as well. But in the same vein, I'm not actually waiting to clear it just for getting more rewards for today. I'm actually clearing this so that I have enough of this currency, enough of these memo chips to be used for tomorrow. And oh, right. Okay, so I totally forgot about the extra stamina that we, that we received from this, which means we can also go back in, right? Just do a couple more runs for free. It's essentially free runs, right? So go back to Fafnir. Let's blitz this one more time. actually insane dude and right now we still have another 42 more memo chips left in the tank on our daily rotation which means it is so freaking freaking easy for us to clear our stamina nowadays it's it's, it's just amazing but the thing is there are a few other rewards here that could uh, distract you right so what i su suggest for you guys right if you're watching this video um is to just refill until you find that epic stamina i think the epic stamina is probably like super freaking worth it because everything else okay maybe this is really good as well so 160 exp for like one run this is also very well worth it i think it's actually a little bit better value but the thing is i do not need the extra experiment right now so i'm just gonna skip it but for most of you guys who need the experiment this is actually pretty decent but okay i know a lot of you guys are going to say that i'm spending a shit ton of gold finding the, the the stamina pack this way right it is true but the thing is in the same vein the game is currently also very very ludicrous it's very easy for you to gain gold so right now i have like a shit ton of gold and i'm not even too worried about gold anymore because of just how the ritual miracles have changed but yeah it doesn't normally look like this i feel like my stamina comes by a lot more frequent than this yeah there we go so another one of these stamina bounties perfect Okay, so some of you guys might be curious to see what a level 8 bounty SS is. So this is like the max level bounty SS right now. And it's 4% for story, 24% of normal, 55% of rare, 12% epic, and 5% legendary. But I feel like the epic stamina is pretty much free as well. Because, you know, we can just go straight into the ritual shop, right? After clearing out all of these stuff. Uh, you notice that I have like 27,000 currency here, which I can just throw it straight into gold. Just nice 27,000. And that's going to net me back 1.3 million, which is going to offset a little bit of my cost. So from the total spending that I did, I feel like it's less than, maybe less than a million, which I can definitely easily recover from this. And at the same time, of course, I'm farming gold via doing ritual miracles anyway. But yeah, so that's it for this video. And just to showcase how fast I clear my daily grind every single day. It's like literally, bam, 5 to 10 minutes, completely done. All the excess stamina that uh, the bounties are going to give me or like from wherever, right? I can just put it straight into like maybe expeditions, for example. So that's another way for me to deplete the rest of my stamina. And I don't really need to think about the game all that much. I can just focus on my work. I can just focus on my life. Everything that I need to do, I can set it straight. I can do it right. Like, you know, Valentine's Day is coming and all that. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.